Welcome to Steve Draws. I'm Stefan de Groot, a Dutch illustrator and animator, but you can call me Steve. In this tutorial I'm going to draw one of my favorite cartoon characters, and that's Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse was born in 1928. It was actually designed by a Dutch animator called Up Our Works. Up Our Works worked for Walt Disney and they had to design a new character because they lost all the rights to a former character called Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. If you look at Oswald, you can see him here, he looks very similar to Mickey Mouse. So in 1928, Up Our Works had to design a character he could draw very fast. Because it's such a simple character, he was recognized all over the world. In this tutorial, we're going to draw Mickey. The only thing you need is a pencil, a paper, a quarter and a dime. Let's start drawing. From a Disney animator I've learned a nice trick to draw Mickey Mouse. At least his face. Mickey's face has three circles. One big circle for his face and two smaller circles for his ears. If you have a quarter and two dimes you can use them to draw the basics of Mickey's face. Just trace the coins. If you don't have the coins, I will leave them on my drawing board just for reference. We begin with drawing three circles. The first circle is Mickey's head. Draw two circles the same size. Mickey is three heads high. Animators use the head to measure their characters. If you have a lot of different characters, the circle will be a handy measurement to get the dimensions of all your characters right. Now we're going to draw the ears. You have to quarter and dime to see the dimensions. I first draw capital T's to measure his ears. And then I draw in the ears. They're not perfect circles. They are ovals. Now I sketch the guideline to place his eyes and nose. Notice that his face is a globe. If you want to know more about drawing a globe, check out my video about the circle and the globe. I'll leave a link in the description box. This is a three-quart view. When you draw a cartoon character, it's always good practice to first sketch the global shapes. The body of Mickey has a pear shape. Draw two lines downwards. The pants of Mickey are a circle as well, but when you look at the total shape of his body, you see a pear. His arms are like rubber hoses. Very narrow arms. This is Mickey Mouse of the 30s when he still had his red pants with two yellow buttons and black eyes. This is my favorite Mickey. Mickey has two buttons on his pants. I first sketch in a guideline to find the middle of his pants, and then I sketch the buttons. They are ovals. Notice that the button that is closer to you is a little bit bigger. If you want to draw dynamically, it's essential that you keep this in mind. The left trouser leg you see a little bit from below. That's why you look inside it. The trouser leg is also an oval. An oval is a flattened circle. The trousers are really round. I try and capture that by enhancing the round shape. The left trouser leg you look at from the front. It's also an oval but I only sketch the front part of it, because the back side falls behind it. Mickey's legs are also a sort of rubber hoses. Then I sketch the big round shoe of his left foot. You look at the shoe from below. I first draw the outline of the shoe. and then at the heel and the sole.
I draw a guideline from the bottom of the left shoe to see where the right shoe is going to be placed. Now I sketch in the right leg of Mickey. His leg is inside a shoe. The top of the shoe is also an oval. I sketch in the entire oval. Later on we will not draw the whole part, but I will explain more later. We're now finished with the body. Let's move on to Mickey's face. Mickey has a white mask. That was very common of cartoon characters of the 30s. Look for instance at Felix the Cat. He also had a mask. They had these masks to enhance their emotions on screen. The guideline comes in handy to draw the top of the mask in place. Mickey's eyes are big ovals. The left eye is closer to you, so draw it a little bit higher than the right eye. Now draw the snout of Mickey. That's an oval as well. Mickey is smiling, so we first draw the smiley dimple on his cheek. Then we draw a round line toward his snout. Mickey's mouth is open, drawing the tongue and his jaw. And finally, his nose. Now we have finished the sketch of Mickey. I grab a black colored pencil to draw the final outlines of Mickey. I've sharpened the pencil to get thin lines. Be careful that you don't press too hard, because then something like this will happen. The point breaks off. Now we're going to continue with making the definite drawing of Mickey with single lines. Notice that almost all the lines are round. This is what makes him so cute and adorable. Now we come to the upper part of his shoe. Don't draw the total oval, just leave a little space in between. Now we're going to do the ears. Now you have finished drawing Mickey. Now we're going to color him. First the black parts, and his nose. Leave a little oval in the middle of his nose to make it shiny. If you color with a pencil it's best that it's not too sharp. We call him Mickey's body. And finally his rubber like legs. Oh, 
wait a second. I, for I forgot something essential. His tail. What is a mouse without a tail? Because I drew Mickey on colored paper, I need to color his face with a white pencil. It's quite hard to cover the background with a white pencil. You really need to press hard. Mickey has a very simple design. This is for a good reason. For drawing one second of animation you need 24 drawings. Upai Works, who designed Mickey Mouse, had to draw the first cartoons of Mickey all by himself. Now I'm going to color the trousers of Mickey with a red pencil. In 1928 Walt Disney lost all the rights to Oswald the Lucky Rabbit to his distributor, Charles Mintz. Mintz had secretly bought out all of Disney's animators except for one. Walt Disney's best friend, Up I Works. The Disney Studios still had a contract to deliver several Oswald the Lucky Rabbit cartoons. On the train trip back to Los Angeles, Walt Disney came up with the character More Time a Mouse. His wife changed it into Mickey, so Mickey Mouse was born. When Disney came back to his studio, he worked together with I Works to design Mickey. This was done at night because Disney did not trust his animators anymore. The first Mickey movie they produced was The Galloping Gaucho, and after that, Playing Crazy. These were all silent pictures. In 1927, there was a revolution in Hollywood. The jazz singer starring Al Jolson was the first movie with sound. And finally I'm going to color the buttons and shoes with a yellow pencil. Disney wanted to make Mickey Mouse a big hit, so he decided to make the first cartoon with sound. So they made a third movie called Steamboat Willie. The movie premiered in New York and was a huge success. Just to quote Walt Disney, you never must lose sight of one fact, that this was all started by a mouse. If you want to see Steamboat Willie playing crazy in the Galloping Gaucho, you can check out my playlist. I have it on my YouTube channel. I also leave a link in the description box down below. So, this is how you draw Mickey Mouse. I hope you liked this video. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. In that way, you won't miss a single video. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles.